Puyo Puyo Champions is not really known for having a lot of content. It's mainly there if you just want to play Puyo, and gosh darn it, you're gonna get to play Puyo and absolutely nothing else. I can't really fault the game for that too much though, since it's dirt cheap on all platforms. You get what you pay for, basically. That being said, the game has received a decent amount of substantial updates by adding new characters, accessibility options, and the subject for today's video, modes. Now, there isn't much here either to talk about. There's a challenge mode which basically acts as your endless mode from the previous games. You basically just try to get the biggest score within a given time frame, or try to reach the target score as fast as possible. Also, for some godforsaken reason, 10 million points is one of those numbers. Have fun trying to consistently make huge chains for several hours. There's also spectator mode, which is just a neat feature. Mostly as it just made hosting online tournaments a lot easier, and it was cool that it got implemented to Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Not much else to say there. That leaves us with lesson mode. Now, on the surface, this isn't too special either. This is your basic tutorial mode for newbies to learn the basics of Puyo. This is pretty much the exact same thing from Puyo Puyo Tetris. A tutorial video plays out showing you the basic mechanics of the game and tries to show you how to chain. Simple stuff, not too interesting. Now, what is unique to Puyo Puyo Champions are its problems. <coughs> it's interactive problems. <coughs> Here, the game gives you a series of puzzles for you to solve, and it tries to teach you the game's mechanics in practice and how to chain. Emphasis on tries. Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest here. I don't like this mode at all. I may be a bit overly harsh on this mode considering I knew all the stuff it was trying to teach me already, but honestly, I don't even think new players would get any use out of this. I wouldn't even say you really get to solve puzzles here. The pieces that you need to place are already marked out on the board telling you directly where to place your pieces, and if you deviate them from even the slightest bit, even if it would solve the problem anyway, it just fails you. This isn't problem solving, it's just following a set of instructions, and repeating those instructions several times. Oh yeah, and there are like 200 of these things, and only like 4 of them at max are useful. It gets boring fast. I highly doubt that many new players are going to find this helpful in learning the game, improving, or even retaining any information. It's too bloated. The puzzles are mind-numbing in the worst way possible, and yeah, it's just boring. So, overall, I'd say that this is a great mode. For Insomniacs. But okay, why am I telling you about all of this? You probably already know about the lesson mode and everything already, right? And wait, doesn't Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 have something identically similar? Well, chances are if you played through Puyo Puyo Champions Problem Series, you probably played a couple puzzles, came to the same conclusion that I did, and never touched a mode again. Well, if you have the patience to solve all 200 of these puzzles, you unlock difficult problems. Essentially, these are 50 additional challenges where you do basically the same thing, following the clear condition for each puzzle, these can range from getting a chain of a specific length, fighting an all clear, just eliminating a specific color of Puyos off the board, to popping a large amount of Puyos at once, all with limited amount of pieces available. And the kicker is, you actually have to use your brain here! Wow! What a novel concept! Unlike the regular problems, you aren't given instructions to follow, so you have to solve every problem by yourself, and a lot of these are actually pretty challenging too. For me, a few of these puzzles had some pretty simple solutions which I was able to figure out right away, but others legitimately had me stumped and took me quite a few tries to get right. One thing that I had to remember while solving a lot of these problems is that you need to prioritize solving the objective above all else. Too often would I be met with a puzzle where I would think, hmm, how would I solve this in one continuous chain, only to find out that solving some of them that way would be impossible. Instead, some puzzles require you to pop singular groups of Puyo, one at a time to reach the objective. I'll admit, this happened way more than I would have liked to admit. Honestly? These are actually kind of fun. Some of them are nothing to write home about, yeah, but others just have fun with the board layouts or have really wacky chains built into the puzzles that resolve in a super satisfying way. Not to mention, it just feels good to finally get that Eureka moment and solve a really tricky puzzle all by yourself. Makes you feel like a genius afterwards. Not to mention, you can tell the developers had a lot of fun designing these puzzles. I mean, just look at this rainbow of Puyos! One thing's for sure is that in order to solve these puzzles, 
you'd at the very least need a pretty good fundamental understanding of Puyo's advanced mechanics and how to utilize them effectively, such as garbage chaining, tailing, and for some puzzles, even using the ghost row. The way how I see it is that I find with a lot of Puyo players, Skills like this comes with time and experience from just playing the game for a long time after being introduced to those concepts. So, if you're just coming from solving the original 200 problems when you're new to the game, I highly doubt that you'd be ready to solve these difficult problems as they are a huge spike in difficulty. I think you have to be a pretty proficient Puyo player to solve a lot of these without randomly guessing the answer each time, which just wouldn't be that fun, honestly. As for myself, I really enjoy the difficult problems. To me, this one of Puyo Puyo was really refreshing, having a preset puzzle to solve rather than just following the basic Puyo gameplay loop of just trying to make chains and managing garbage. It's just another way to play Puyo, which I kinda feel hasn't really been explored much of in the series. Maybe I'm wrong about that last statement, and there are a couple more examples of this within the franchise, and I've just not come across them. Anyway, these puzzles actually work really well as a single player mode. Honestly? I think I had more fun doing these than quite a few stages in some of the story mode levels in the recent games. Maybe some easier puzzles would work pretty well for some stages to vary up the gameplay a little bit. It's just a little bit of a shame that this mode is locked behind 200 very tedious problems that I hesitate to call puzzles. If you want to waste about two and a half hours doing them to unlock difficult problems, I guess there are worse ways of spending that time. But I also can't quite say it's entirely worth the time investment. Veterans who would be able to solve these puzzles would likely find no use for the problems leading up to them, and would just get way too bored trying to unlock them. While newbies, I don't think would be able to find much enjoyment with these difficult puzzles even after going through the 200 prior problems. If it was just available right at the start and it wasn't a secret mode, it would be pretty nice I'd say. But unfortunately, no such thing exists that allows you to do that. For console players, at least. For the PC crowd out there, may I introduce the mod, Armando's Puzzle Pack. This mod essentially replaces the first 35 puzzles with some custom puzzles created by one of the community's best modders and precise museum contributor, Armando. These are fairly similar to the puzzles that you can find in a difficult problems, but I would say it's a bit more playful than that. These puzzles take advantage of mechanics from previous Puyo Puyo games that simply don't appear anywhere else in Champions. Stuff like Ice Puyo, Hard Nuisance, Blocks, and even... Quartet? Oh, you, Pecknick! These puzzles are super dynamic, really forcing you to think outside the box even more so than the difficult puzzles, and these are honestly really cool. These falling Puyo puzzles make for some more really unique puzzle scenarios that you really won't see anywhere else. Board setups that force you to maneuver your Puyos in just the right way, chained at the very top of the board despite it all, and just again, more unique setups. And I'm not going to spoil this here, but I just want to say, puzzle number 24 is absolutely insane, and it deserves to be experienced firsthand. That's all I'll say. Trust me, it's worth it. Some of these puzzles, however, are really difficult. The Enigmatic Chain series really messes with my brain despite being simple chaining puzzles, and I'll be honest, I resorted to guesswork mostly when it came to a lot of the ice puzzles. This ice puzzle in particular took me about 6 hours to solve, with help! If you're a Puyo veteran, I highly recommend giving this mod a shot. It's a really unique challenge. Now, I won't say this mod is perfect, mind you. Some of the challenges are mislabeled, like this one says you have 6 moves to solve this puzzle, when you only have 5, making me think this puzzle was bugged and impossible to solve, when in actuality it was pretty doable, just really difficult. And then there's also this puzzle, which tells you to get an all clear, which I do, but it still fails me anyway. Instead, the objective should specify that you need to get a 5 chain all clear. All this considered though, these are just minor nitpicks for a really solid package. Now, as of the time of writing the script, the mod has only 37 downloads in total, which I think is a huge disservice to the mod's quality. I highly encourage you to give it a go if you have Puyo Puyo Champions on PC. It's also the only mod of its kind like this as far as I know. Another cool thing that Armando has done is made a written tutorial on how to create these custom puzzles yourself, 
And I just think it would be really cool if the community took advantage of this to make some more custom puzzle packs. There's just so much potential here. This mod overall impressed me so much that this video was originally going to be a mod showcase, with Armando's puzzle pack being the main highlight. I decided against the initial idea though, since most of it was just character mods and skins, which I didn't feel would make for too interesting of a video. There were only so many ways that I could say, oh, hey, look at this cool skin. And this cool skin. And this cool skin- oh wait, is that Kirby? Of that original video, however, Armando's contributions were the most notable, making the Gummy Puyos accessible for the first time outside of Chronicle, before it was added in an official update to Champions, to making a custom character in an Otomo, to... Yeah, this was a mistake. Heyo! Thank you all so much for watching this video and making it to the end here. It's always very much appreciated. If any of you are interested in trying out Armando's puzzle pack for yourselves, I'll leave a link to the mod in the description below. I honestly highly recommend it. And with all that, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, see you guys! <laughs>